The focus of this lesson is finding the intercepts of a graph. And so when we talk about intercepts, we're talking about where the graph crosses the x-axis for the x-intercept and the y-axis for the y-intercepts. And it's very possible that a graph has more than one of either the x-intercepts or y-intercepts. So if you're asked to find it graphically, you could just graph the equation of the line or whatever type of graph you have and look for where you cross the x and y axis. If you're asked to determine it algebraically, this is more like proving it with your algebra, then you need to make sure you go through the process of the algebra. So I'm going to go ahead and show an example of what that looks like and we'll start off with our example here with y equals the square root of 9 minus x and we're going to look for the y-intercept first. So you start off by letting the opposite letter of the type of intercept that you're working with be 0. So in this case we'll start off by letting x equal 0. And so we rewrite our equation but wherever there was an x we put in 0. So it becomes 9 minus 0 instead of 9 minus x. So this becomes y equals the square root of 9 but the square root of 9 we know is the positive root 3. So y equals 3 when x is 0. So what that does is that allows us to solve for the other coordinate that we didn't set equal to 0. We can solve for that coordinate. And so we end up with an ordered pair where x is 0 and y is 3, which is all stated here. And so that point on a physical graph is where this graph crosses the y-axis at 0, 3. So then you would do the same thing um, for x-intercept, but you would let, instead of letting x be 0, you'd let y be 0. Put 0 in for y, and then you have the square root of 9 minus x. Now this intercept isn't as straightforward. You have to do a little bit more algebra and work. Um, but keep in mind that now after you let y be 0, your goal is to solve for x. So in order to solve for x, we can see that x is under a square root. So we need to get rid of the square root. And the way we do that is by squaring both sides. Do the same thing to both sides of the equation. 0 squared is still 0. Squaring a square root undoes the square root and just leaves you the 9 minus x. Subtract 9 from both sides of the equation and you're left with negative 9 equals negative x. Divide by negative 1 on both sides and you get x is a positive 9. So when y is 0, x is a positive 9, so that gives us an ordered pair of 9 comma 0. So that is the x-intercept. So in this case, the graph has one y-intercept and one x-intercept. Let's go ahead and take a look at another example. So we want to find the x and y-intercepts for y equals 5 minus x cubed. So for the y-intercept, we let the opposite letter be 0. So we're going to let x be 0. And so if we let x be 0, we rewrite our equation. y equals 5 minus x cubed. But instead of the x, we're going to put in 0 specifically for x. And so this is y equals 5 minus 0 cubed, which is just 5 minus 0 which is just 5. So when x is 0, the corresponding y-coordinate is 5. And so you end up with the ordered pair 0, comma, 5 for the y-intercept. Moving on to the x-intercept, we'll let the opposite letter be 0. So in that case, let y be 0. And again, we'll rewrite our equation, but instead of y, we'll put in 0 and then write the rest of our equation, 5 minus x cubed. And then this time around, we're going to solve for x. We already know y is 0. We need to solve for the remaining x. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 5 from both sides of the equation. 
and that gives me negative 5 equals negative x cubed. Divide by negative 1 on both sides. I'm left with positive 5 equals positive x cubed. And I want x, and right now I have x cubed. So I need to get rid of the cube, and the way I do that is by taking the cube root. And what I do to one side of the equation, I do to the other. And so that leaves the cube root of 5 equals x. So the ordered pair is the cube root of 5 for the x-coordinate, and then 0 for the y-coordinate. That is the x-intercept. So we have both the y-intercept and the x-intercept.